Hello and welcome to Digital Craftsman's, um, your go-to source for marketing digital skills. If you're looking to enhance your email marketing strategies or simply want to learn how to send bulk and HTML emails effectively, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're diving into Thunderbird, a powerful free email client that's perfect for managing your email campaigns. Whether you're a small business owner, a marketer, or just someone who wants to send out a newsletter, I'll show you step by step how to use Thunderbird to create and send bulk emails and even craft out a beautifully designed HTML emails with ease. Stay tuned as we explore this journey together. Alright, so I'm just going to assume that everyone has their Thunderbird installed. And if you cannot do that, please check on the link below. There's a link on trusted sites to download it and uh, should get going from there. So when you install and have every setup ready, you should have something like this. Uh, you should have something like this. Now, okay, this one is I uh, opened it already. So just going to go ahead and cancel it. So, uh, if you want to start sending bulk emails, yeah, there are things you need. You have to be able, you should, you should link a uh, mail merge to your Thunderbird. Yes, you have to link a mail merge to your Thunderbird so that you'll be able to send out your bulk emails effectively. And how to do that, I'm going to walk you through how to do that this is the first step before every other thing what the next thing you're supposed to do is uh link your thunderbird to a mail merge and how to do that you first of all go to your settings right here yes and um you look for add-ons when you go to your settings here you click on this add-ons and teams so when you get here, you can either select on this. And as you can see, I already have my mail merge installed. But to walk you through that, you just go to this search box here and you type uh, mail merge. Now it's going to take you to this page you search. Usually, the right one is always the first one, but to be sure about that, you have to click on it. Once you see, once you see this name, yes, this is the right one. So you, you click on Add to Thunderbird. It's going to ask you this. So it was added. So now, of course, on some device, it's going to add ask you to download. Yeah, it's going to ask you to download, but once you've added the mail merge, now you can successfully proceed. This is this is where you prepare your email. Now, this is it. So now the next step is uh, sending out a bulk email. Okay, quick one. There's something I want you to notice over here. Um, before you link to your mail merge, this will not be provided for you. But after you're done linking it, then it's going to appear right over here. Of course, on some devices, you click on this file, then you get it. It's going to be listed here, but in mine, it's over here, easy to access. Um, so, what I'm going to walk you through is how to prepare your CSV files for your bulk email which uh, we're going to be moving over to style sheets yes where you make a list of the emails you want to send you want to be sending here we have uh, our recipients now the thing is whatever is you put here 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 
on here and here. There's a way you're going to represent it on, on your email without having to write down each and every information that is here. That is the problem with um, sending out emails one by one. If you want to send out a bulk email, you use this format. It, what, what you're going to be taking note of is just this the name, the recipient, the company's name, and uh, my email address. So I'm just going to uh, cancel this column. Yes. So I'm just going to make use of. Uh, mind you, these things are just something I just cooked up. So. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to make use of these three columns now. Now you have this ready. The next thing you're supposed to do is uh, email. Remember, we'll have this uh, stuff. Okay. So the recipient, you put it like this. If you get a single spelling wrong, it's not going to work. There's going to be an error. The information will deliver, and I'll show you what happens. This recipient automatically carries the information that is under this column or information that is here. That's the recipient. Now, if you type in a message, like um, hello okay. okay now I'm going to go ahead and make a deliberate uh, error so I'll, I'll point out something for you and the error is this uh, name the company name the letter N is an upper case letter here why I made it uh, lowercase letter so now you're going to know what happens all right if you miss spell any word so usually the um, best way to do this type of thing to avoid any error is to just copy copy the spelling here copy everything from this column and you paste it that way everything is spelled correctly but I'm making a deliberate error just to point it out and you see for yourself okay let's say I'm done writing my email and um, I'm going to be sending it out right now so what I'm supposed to do is uh, export this File, you download it of course you can download it as uh, the preferred uh, download uh, style is a uh, CSV download it as a CSV file you can also download it as um, any of this but for now for today for this video we're doing we're downloading it as a CSV file and this is the name this is the name and mind you everything we're doing here is free everything is free it has been downloaded so this is the recipient so if I'm to send out this email now this is my download folder it is here so mail match mm, okay I'll, I'll put up a subject like um, congratulations so, um, 
you go here select a csv file because the file was downloaded as a csv file um, you leave this as it is this now you go look for your file this is it you open when you come here you can use whichever method to send it out okay but i'm going to be using send now for the sake of this video this mail merge is finished now. okay so we go on to check all right this is the okay now this is the message hello francis there you have it from this the names here francis and that's why you have hello francis she you understand now the part about the company turned out this way because I am pleased to inform you that inform you that so you see after this there's supposed to be a company name but due to the error I told you it is absent now I'm going to do the correct thing and um which is you do this that's all you send it out again So there you have it. And that's how you harness the power of Thunderbird for sending personalized bulk email. I hope this guide was helpful and you're now ready to elevate your email game. My next video will be about guiding you on how to send HTML emails. So before you go, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And also, if you find this video useful, please hit the notification button to stay updated for more tips and tricks on digital skills. Got any questions or suggestions for what you'd like to see next? Drop a comment below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.